Well, people have been wary of getting hospital procedures done during the COVID pandemic. However, hospital officials say there is nothing to worry about. Joining us with more on that is Susan Stone, Senior Vice President and Chief Executive Officer, Sharp Coronado Hospital. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing well. So before we get to the elective procedures, I do want to mention that you guys had the vaccination pod that is opening to the public, right? Yes, we've been open for about eight weeks. Um, our, we have five locations in Sharp Healthcare to ensure that our community has an opportunity to be vaccinated near their home. Yeah, so you guys have been busy doing that. Now tell me about hospital procedures. Obviously, a lot of these elective surgeries um, people have been holding off to go and do. And, and what is what are you guys looking at right now? So in Sharp Healthcare, safety is a top priority always and never more important um, than during this pandemic. Uh, we have put in place procedures to ensure that everyone is safe. And we know that our community is very concerned when they come into any healthcare facility. So we have put in place screening mechanisms. Um, our physicians use protocols when they're preparing someone for surgery. Uh, we evaluate the safety of everyone. Uh, we are screening people at our entries and we are using even uh, disinfecting robots in our uh, surgical suites to ensure the safety of our patients. Um, so ne never more has it been important to have the safety of our patients in mind. And we're here to answer any questions and reassure our patients that it's safe. And please don't delay any care that you need. Wow, disinfecting robots, oh my gosh. That's a new, new age technology, that's for sure. So tell me about what some of the surgeries are. What are you hearing when you're talking to patients about some of these ones that they've put off? Uh, we know um, that orthopedic surgery is one of the procedures that has been delayed. Um, some of the elective procedures, even cardiac procedures, people have been delaying. Um, it's across the board. Um, people have been concerned about their safety and we understand that. Um, but we want to make sure that anybody with a serious health condition, no matter what that is, if you're concerned for your health, please uh, seek care. Uh, we want to make sure that you know it's safe for you to see your doctor. We have many options. Seeing someone in person, seeing someone via uh, telehealth and or over the phone just to get started so that we can evaluate your health and make sure that we bring you in when it's serious and we need to potentially do surgery. It is safe and our team members are screened every day uh, to make sure that you and your family and your loved ones are safe should they be needing to get care. Now, do you guys have like a backlog that has happened because of the pandemic or are you seeing a lot of people go and contact you guys about some of these surgeries or has it kind of been slow going at this point? We know from our surgeons that they do have a backlog of cases that they had planned to do um, throughout this pandemic. And of course, with the different surges, they've had to put off some of those serious um, surgeries. So uh, we are working with our surgeons to do extended days. Uh, we've even done Saturdays to make sure that our surgeons have the availability of the surgical suites to work down that backlog and make sure that everyone that needs to get in for surgery has that opportunity. Uh, just before we go, for you, does it feel, do you see that light at the end of the tunnel? Are you seeing a little bit of normalcy return? Yeah, the surge has abated at this point to a bit, um, although there's still some COVID patients in the hospitals, we're seeing that uh, census uh, reduced every day. And when I'm in the vaccine clinic, for me, that is the hope of the future. Our goal is to vaccinate as many people as possible because we know that the vaccines are effective and that if we can get our community protected, uh, that is the hope of the future and we'll get back to a new normal. Uh, we don't know exactly what that will look like, but that is our hope. All right, Susan Stone, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much.